If you're thinking about using diatomaceous earth powder for bed bugs, watch this first. If you're wondering what it is, it's a powder-like substance from diatom skeletal remains, which are microscopic algae with hard silica shells. Did you know that even though diatomaceous earth is labeled as non-toxic, there's a wrong way to apply it? We're here to help show you a few examples of how not to apply it. The way diatomaceous earth powder works is that when bed bugs come into contact with it, the abrasive silica particles damage their exoskeletons, ultimately leading to dehydration and death. The same way DE damages the bugs, it can also damage your lungs. DE is not safe if inhaled, so if you apply it like this, you're at risk of inhaling tiny particles every time you walk by it and disturb it, or every time a door shuts and creates air movement. Even if the earth powder is under your bed, it can still become airborne when you shut doors, turn on fans, walk through the space, or use air conditioners. Here are a few examples of real life cases we saw that were not applied correctly. This person heard about a bed bug issue in their building, so they poured it all over the hallway outside of their door. Just remember that the bugs avoid DE when it's applied in visible mountains like this. Plus, it's a lung irritant for anyone that walks by it. In this apartment, the residents decided to use DE without first talking to a professional. As you can see, the way they spread it is not the right way to do it. The bugs avoid DE when it's applied in visible mountains like this. DE needs to be applied in such a fine layer that you don't even see it. When we showed up for a canine inspection in this apartment, we saw the DE applied all over the tops of beds, underneath the bed frame, and all over the couches. Once we visibly see diatomaceous earth like this, we cannot have the dog sniff the environment. These folks didn't feel like they were getting help from their building management company, so they decided to take matters into their own hands, only they didn't realize they were applying DE wrongly. When we do our canine inspections, the first thing we ask our clients is if they applied any diatomaceous earth powder. Diatomaceous earth can do irreversible damage to a dog's nose. Since our dogs need to use their nose to sniff bed bugs, we need to protect and keep their nose and mucous membranes in tip-top shape. To effectively use diatomaceous earth against bed bugs, you should follow a few helpful tips. Puff a thin layer of DE in hiding places where it will not become airborne. This photo shows how not to apply DE. You can puff it inside of a box spring, but immediately seal it in an encasement. Remove outlets to puff it in the walls, but immediately put the outlet cover back on. Puff DE along baseboards that you seal with silicone gel right after. Never put it on your bed frame or mattress like this. And most importantly, always follow the safety instructions on the DE product packaging, such as wearing a mask and gloves during application. So we hope this video helps you learn a little bit more about diatomaceous earth powder and how not to apply it. The most important takeaway is to only use DE earth powder in places where you can puff it into cracks and crevices and seal it, or in places where it will never become airborne. We have many other videos on bed bug related behavior and bed bug products and bed bug tips on how to avoid them. 